Africa's savage wilds, one law governs all. Adapt or die trying. It's survival at its most extreme. Unforgiving, unforgettable. Africa's deadly kingdom. Rush hour in South Africa's Mala Mala Game Reserve. The Cape Buffalo begin their commute. Their destination, the Sand River. The only permanent water for kilometers. and a lifeline in this dry season. Their constant companions, red-billed oxpeckers, take a break from tick-picking to rinse the dust flung by their hefty hosts. The herd of nearly 1,000 carries a paradise of parasites for these carnivorous little birds to feast on. But ticks aren't the only creatures with a taste for Cape Buffalo. The big beasts splashing and bellowing attract a more ferocious foe. The lions circle the herd, locking onto their target in silent unison. A lone bull, away from the crowd. It's a tall order. 800 kilograms of muscle, armed with one meter wide horns and the temperament of a thunderstorm. Not for nothing, big buffalo bulls are called widow makers. The lion suddenly loses his appetite. The pride goes back to doing what lions do best. Sleeping. Snoozing on the banks of a busy river means nary a quiet moment. In the dry season, elephants come to drink and graze. up, the stream of tourists increases. Ah! 
this little calf still has much to learn about his bushveld home. At least he doesn't have to worry about lions. Mum and the rest of the herd have his back. Nobody wants to argue with them. of the jungle will have to find a less crowded section of river. On the opposite bank, another set of eyes quietly watches. A lone leopardess. Silent, solitary and happiest when no one knows she's there. But the neighbors insist on exposing her with incessant alarm calls. She needs to hunt soon. A few kilometers away, her two cubs wait patiently, hidden in the thickest part of her territory. Helpless as kittens, the two month-old leopard cubs would make an easy kill for any predator that happens along. They rely completely on their mum for protection and milk. so she needs to hunt to stay strong. To catch the Impala, she must move in close without being seen. Another volley of alarm calls reverberates through the bush. This time, it is not about her. One of the pride males is on the move. Not only has he ruined her hunt, he could kill her. She retreats to the flimsy upper branches, safe from the heavier predator. When the threat passes, she heads to a different part of her territory to hunt. Impala rams, distracted and exhausted during the rutting season, make the perfect target. If only she can get close enough to strike.
In the rutting season, mature impala rams leave the safety of the large herds to compete for mating rights. It makes them vulnerable to predators, but their instinct to breed is overpowering. The seasons themselves drive this instinct. The change in the chemical composition of the drying grass triggers a spike in the ram's testosterone levels. Midway through the dry season, the rams are tired and in poor physical condition. They can only hold on to their territories and females for about six days. Exhausted, they're then ousted by stronger males. Something the predators here are well aware of. leopard mother stalks the impala, studying their every move. Each footstep calculated, silent. not silent enough. Sounding the alarm, the Impala escape. Cries and smells link the creatures of the bushveld. The Impala's distress call sounds like opportunity knocking for the spotted hyena. They've learned that alarms mean predators. And predators could mean a free meal. They follow the leopard mother like a toothy shadow, ready to commandeer anything she kills. But they've spoiled her hunt. <laughs> Luckily, hyenas can't climb. With no food to pilfer, the hyenas quickly tire of the leopard. And find something better. A black-backed jackal announces dinner. A pair of wild dogs devour an impala. With a success rate of about 80%, they are some of the most efficient of all African carnivores. The jackal stands no chance against the dogs. But hyena are a different story. Tails raised in excitement, they test the air to pinpoint their target. The jackal's cries unwittingly aiding and abetting them.
Wild dogs usually travel in groups of about a dozen. These two have somehow wandered away. Without their pack, they can't protect their kill. Even the jackal earns a commission for his tip-off. <laughs> Surrendering their supper, the dogs start searching for their family. Without them, they're vulnerable. The distress calls of helmeted guinea fowl may point them in the right direction. Instead, they find the leopard mother. And in true dog fashion, they pester the big cat. She's not having a good day. Finally, at the banks of the river, the excited pack reunites. Their hunting trip has taken them many kilometers from their den. To get home, they must cross the sand river filled with danger. The alpha male crosses first. He waits patiently for the rest of his pack. They have good reason to be reluctant. Crocodiles. Another danger lurks here too, one they haven't noticed yet. But it sees them. For the wild dogs of Mala Mala, the Sand River presents one of the pack's gravest dangers. In the dry season, it flows shallow and gently making it easier to spot lurking crocodiles. But its cool, inviting, reed-choked banks hide other predators. fact this older, weaker wild dog failed to consider. Instinct pits predator against predator for limited food sources. The pack knows they can do nothing for their fallen member. They've left the pups at home and must get back. In South Africa's bushveld, 
Wild dogs pup almost exclusively in the dry season. And lions love unattended dens. The pack arrives to a quiet burrow. Only a babysitter left to safeguard the pups emerges, alone. Too soon to panic, the pups are safe. All 11 of them. The entire pack regurgitates chunks of meat to feed the youngsters. the same mother, the alpha female, the pack's only breeding female. In a couple of months, they'll abandon the den and learn the pack's nomadic ways. This life of leisure for the three-week-old pups is almost over. The setting sun brings a changing of the guard. Strange and secretive creatures take their posts. None as strange as this guy. With rabbit ears, bare claws and a kangaroo tail. This aardvark may look like a genetic jigsaw puzzle, but he is in fact perfectly suited to his mission of ant and termite terminating. Those claws slash through hard termite mounds. while his long, sensitive nostrils seal out dust and crawling insects. His thick skin may protect him from termite pincers, but when it comes to larger predators, he can only hide. The same can't be said of the African crested porcupine. Almost nothing phases her. Armed with thousands of needle-sharp, microscopically barbed quills. But she has company. A bouncing baby porcupine. And now, some intruders have come to spoil their evening fun. The young lions can't resist such a slow-moving meal. Luckily, they only spot mum. She gives the inexperienced cats a few tips. Eventually, they get the point. They head back to the pride. The adults 
have a much larger target in sight. To hunt buffalo, they must bring the big guns. All three of the pride males join the hunt. Heavy, brave, and battle ready, these brothers don't mess around. When it comes to hunting buffalo, the lionesses are the brains of the operation. But the males provide the added muscle. A combined weight of over 600 kilograms of raw power. Feeding a whole pride is a constant battle. Tonight, they've won it. And the pride is about to get even bigger. For the first time, these nine-week-old cubs join the pride on its exciting nighttime journey across the bushveld. They've never seen a kill or tasted meat before. They still prefer mum's milk. She'll wean them over the next few months. By daybreak, the male cats have almost picked the buffalo carcass clean, leaving what's left to the females. The cubs' world still revolves around their mum. They spend their days developing important skills under the watchful gaze of the entire pride. The three little males are lucky. When their time comes to leave the pride, they'll find new territory together as a powerful coalition in the tradition of their fathers. The males, rested and recharged, leave the pride to perform their vital duty. They patrol the boundaries. Their bellowing calls warn and challenge any who dare enter their domain. The leopard returns to her den at last. Unlike the lions, she's a single mother, 
raising her cubs alone. They see the bush felt as a tremendous interactive cat toy. Both are boys, but unlike the lion cubs, their bond won't last. Their mock battles prepare them for lives as solo warriors. Their mom, a warrior herself, knows all about that. She only allows herself a short rest. She regularly changes den sites to avoid the cub's smell attracting attention. As the family makes its way across the dry grass, a new scent captures her attention. A whiff of rain is on the breeze. No stranger to the cycles of the bushveld, each creature adapts to the ebb and flow of the seasons. Eighteen months pass, and Mala Mala bursts with life as summer returns. Old buffalo bulls, retired from their lives as breeding bulls in the large herds, lounge in the spa. There's even a cleaning service. Terrapins pick away at dead flesh, keeping their old battle wounds clean and free of parasites. The buffalo gets a skin treatment, the terrapin gets a meal. A win-win situation. For the elephant family, the rainy season's ample food and water brings a moment of reprieve from their constant search for sustenance. There's even time for a bit of rest and relaxation. The elephant calf, now a bit bigger, loves to play in the river. His contagious sense of fun soon has most of the herd impersonating the hippo. who's not particularly amused. For another Riverside resident, the rainy season brings other opportunities. The newly formed pools trap small fish by the hundred. A pied kingfisher's version of a buffet. With specially adapted eyes, 
that allow for refraction of light off the water and spear-like bills, they are fishing champions. This male has caught the prize. Once stunned on a convenient branch, the huge meal goes down whole and head first. Perhaps there's even room for more. The past 18 months have brought a lot of change for the pair of young leopards. Their mother has left them, this time for good. But some things will never change. Despite their size, the two brothers haven't outgrown the dangers of the hyena. as the clan closes in. <laughs> Outnumbered and outgunned, the young leopard brothers of Mala Mala face down the hyena clan. A hyena wouldn't think twice about killing a leopard, given the chance. The pair will simply have to wait in the safety of the tree until the opportunists get bored with them. That could take hours. But then, their luck changes. The clan has sniffed out the leopard's lunch. The remains of an impala ram, hoisted beyond reach of hyena jaws. Tantalizingly close. She earned that. Though the brothers might not agree. The unlikely high jump champ saunters home with a full belly. Unlike the leopard, her 18-month-old cubs still depend on her. The other females in the clan may help protect her cubs, but they draw the line at feeding them. Her little male cub, tired of waiting, strikes out on an adventure of his own. Perfect opportunity to grab a free meal. He's seen his mum do it. How hard can it be? But intimidation tactics don't work on this leopard. The dominant male in the area father to all the cubs in his territory, including the two brothers.
When the little hyena's plan fails to launch, he tries a different angle. He's about to learn that there are some leopards that back down. And others that do not. But he's also learning fast that he who dares wins the hyena's trademark. A scrap of overlooked meat is his reward for sheer tenacity. Big Daddy Leopard, tired of being pestered by the neighborhood brats, looks for a peaceful spot to sleep off his meal. He marks his scent along the way, using glands on his cheeks and spraying urine that smells disturbingly like hot buttered popcorn. The leopard mother finds it irresistible. She has only a few days to become pregnant. They'll spend the next three days together, mating approximately every 15 minutes. Good thing he's just had a big meal. The wild dogs still haven't found today's lunch. The pups, now full grown, join the search. Their target, anything that runs from them. Though they draw the line at zebras, who laugh at their intimidation tactics. In fact, the zebras have the upper hoof. One kick can kill a wild dog. Eventually, they realize they're barking up the wrong tree and lumber off to find something easier. Like the wild dog pups, the three tumbling lion cubs have completely transformed. At nearly two years old, they now set an example for the next generation of cubs. In a year, they'll leave the pride, so they must learn to hunt for themselves. And the school bell has just rung. Splashing buffalo hooves sound like opportunity. Lions rule the bushveld but their power ends at the riverbank. And they become potential prey.
the lion pride of Mala Mala tries to outswim its mortal enemy. And beat the odds. Fear of water and crocs comes naturally to the young lions, but so does their hunting instinct. Barely pausing to catch their breath, they resume their mission. The young males hang back. The lionesses take the lead. The business end of a buffalo is no place for rookie hunters. and the young males stick to the back legs. Eventually, they'll get their chance to prove themselves. For now, it's an A-plus for attendance. Unlike the lions, the mother of the two young leopards never believed in school. Not once did she show them how to hunt. Instead, they hone their skills by trial and error, practicing on each other. They are almost two years old, and another instinct tugs at them. The urge for solitude. With barely a backwards glance, the brothers part ways. They probably won't see each other again. If they do, it will be as rivals. Their mother can only dream of alone time. As her motherhood cycle starts again. This new cup is now her primary concern. A heavy burden to bear, but her genetic future depends on the survival of the next generation. born to become the silent hunters and bold warriors of Africa's deadly kingdom. <laughs>